fasting crowns. Who am I? Who am I really to serve the Lord? Mm. Mm. And today I've learned the most important thing is your relationship with God. You know, uh, when we were going for a short break, there's something that Pastor Samukatu shared with me. Mm. Uh, that, uh, you know, salvation is not by works. Yeah. It is the relationship you have with God. Yeah. Because most of the things that most of the things we usually do, we do them to appear we are holy and uh, we have the fire for God, but we really don't have that relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Because uh, when we sum up your story, it was like you were doing all these things and you are knowledge about Christ, but you have not really had the conviction. Mm-hmm. And that is one of the areas that uh, I think we as believers we struggle with. Mm. And uh, we are living in denial. Listen, ah, tunajua. Yeah. Ni true kwa sababu Romans chapter 1 verse 18 says the wrath of God is being revealed yes. unto those who hold the truth yes. in unrighteousness. Mm-hmm. They are holding the truth yes. but they are holding it in unrighteousness. Mm-hmm. If you continue down there it says when they, they professed themselves to be wise yes but they were fools. Mm. They exchanged the glory of the only true God to the glory of images of birds and four-footed beasts. And so, uh, and the Bible says, God gave them over to their reprobate mind. A reprobate mind is a mind of a person that cannot repent. And that's a dangerous place to be. Because if you know the truth, and you know how to apply the truth. Yes. But you are walking in that truth, but in insincerity. Yes. Truth in insincerity. Yes. Speaking the truth to people. Praying for people to be saved. Mm. But we are insincere in our hearts. That is what we call self-deception. And that's the highest form of deception. Satan was in it. In Isaiah chapter 14. Alisemaji, alisema. I shall ascend into the sides of the north. Mm. I shall appear before the congregation. Mm. I shall set my throne above the stars of the Most High. And I shall be like the Most High. Mm. Now when he did that, the moment he thought that, Ezekiel 28 says, till iniquity was found in your heart. When that iniquity was found in his heart, he was cast out of heaven. War broke out because of a thought in one angel. Yes. War broke out in heaven mm. because of one thought. Now, if if imagine heaven can have such pandemonium because of one thought, yes. how about us having sincerity? How many angels can be sent to us yes. because we are sincere with God? Mm. How many, how can heaven be moved to move or to act on our behalf yes. because of how we have we are given ourselves mm. to God? Now I say wengi wanadhani kusavu kwa pulpit ni righteousness. Wazo wanadhani kuimba kwa choir ama kwa praise and worship team ni holiness. That unatoki anga kwa team na unaimba na ukona voice ya God. Wasa wanafikiria kupiga magoti na kuinulia mungu mikono palivo kwa service. Do you know one thing about the service? Mm-hmm. The service is not the real thing. It's not the, it is not the real uh, encounter between God and man. Yes. The real encounters happen on a daily life. Mm-hmm. The service is a rehearsal of what should be happening daily. Yeah. So wewe unajimuaga kwa rehearsal. Lakini kwa, kwa, kwa nini, when ikifika ni time ya performance, hauko tu. Unacheki? Hapo ndiyo tuko kwa church. Hapo ndiyo tuko kwa church. Na hapo ndiyo na believe, na sikia word kwa Holy Spirit, na sikia word kwa Spirit, that the pulpit has become the pool pit. You know, P, P, U, pool, P-U-L-P-I-T, has become P double O L P-I-T. Imekuwa pool pit. Why? It is a pool of mud. It is a pool of mire. Where people just come and they are they are soaking themselves in their own iniquity. Yes. No, no. And we are feigning. Tunajua church language. Tunajua church culture. Tunajua church dressing. We even have church foods. 
tunajua church programs na na na, na rituals but tunajua nini heart zetu waziko sincere na ule tuna serve na hiyo ndio testimony testimony sio nilikuwa sina kazi sasa niko na kazi testimony sio nilikuwa nilikuwa mgonjwa sasa nimepona testimony sio tuliendaga jo mtu wangu tuliamsha kilema hapana testimony sio tulifanya worship experience ka go through testimony sio nilikuwa sina fare nikapata ama nilikuwa sina gari sasa nimebai na hizo ndio maartist wanatuimbia hizo ndio hizo ndio vitu tunasikia kama testimony kwa cha services that is not the real thing yes that is a rehearsal hiyo ni program but the real thing wacha nione vile unaishingi na watu wanaku offend yes wacha nione vile una practice christ kwa marriage yako wacha nione vile eh, vile una walk sasa zile umetumwa na pesa mingi eh na umeambwa niaje shika hii pesa 100,000 or 1 million in cash pereka pale ama usend pale hapo ndio sincerity iko tuone kama hautachuna kadhaa ujieke alafu uende pale kwa leja kwa nini <laughs> kwa records ucheze mbili tatu hapo hivyo alafu unacheki that's the life we are living that's what we have in our offices yes. we have this history of corruption if sincerity na truth na integrity na openness na honesty yeah. ikikuwa kwa hati yetu yeah. hata kwa government offices hautapata yeah. unrighteousness and this is the kingdom hii ndio walitafutia daniel makosa wakakosa makosa wakakosa <laughs> wow unacheki hii wow. ndio walitafutia daniel wakasema huyu msee mali tutamshikia ni kwa god wake eri upasecutiwe juu ya Christ lakini wakikutafuta makosa wakikutafuta mali watakushika wanakosa wanakosa makosa kwako kwa nini you walk in integrity in truth in honesty in uprightness you walk in openness you are open towards god yes. do you know we we feign to be open by the way we lift up our hands in in services mm-hmm. but do you know what we can't even when we are ourselves we can't even confess our sins when we are ourselves in private before god can god see the nakedness of your heart before him can god be the one to clothe you when you start naked before him Unajua mm. and that naked is a is a metaphor. Yes. I'm not talking literal. Mm. I'm talking metaphoric. Yes. Yaani you are so open and so uh, you know true to God mm. to a point where hata si lazima kuongeleshe. Yeah. Already we mwenye ushai, ushajipika, ushajua ai mm. hii ni dhambi yangu inafanya hii kitu yape. Naacha niende nitubu. Yeah. Unajua? Mm. Na hiyo ndio life tumeitwa kuishi na hiyo ndio life ya victory kwa sababu hapo ndio una apply faith daily hapo ndio una depend na word ya god daily hapo ndio unajua victory ya christ kwa cross how it works daily in your life yes. and that is the application of the truth mm-hmm. amen so mimi na believe na hiyo na believe pulpit ime imekuwa pulpit and it needs to be cleaned up yeah. by what not by throwing people out of church here it is idea mm-hmm. it's by repentance what is repentance repentance is not saying i'm sorry yeah. repentance is not feeling remorse mm-hmm. for the sins that you have committed mm-hmm. it's part of it but it's not it repentance is not uh, saying ay 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 manzi nime blanda jo hapana hiyo si repentance repentance ni kile una do that ina show ume change mm-hmm. kile una do that ina show god hata si watu kusho god that we will may change mm-hmm. and that's where we need to get to mm-hmm. as a church mm-hmm. as believers as christians yeah wow. mm-hmm. i see that is so deep you know even for me right now i'm just taking notes <laughs> eh hey, manzi this is something that we as believers we should just we should just work out mm. work out your salvation with fear with fear 
Unaona hiyo fear ina ni carefulness. Yes. We are careful mm-hmm. not to hurt the heart of God. Yes. That he has been so good to us. We can't repay him with evil for good. Yeah. Unajua? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's the testimony. Wow. You know, that's I'm kingdom. I'm just here I'm like mbona hii time ina flash you. We, we just started you know? but uh, jo, just the other minute man <laughs> yeah, but, but but see even mm-hmm. before we, we pray together because i believe we'll be praying for people tonight e. in a short while e. we have like uh something less over seven minutes e. but i just want to there's something i want to just you to touch on that even uh for me it worked for me because mm. uh, i did something that god really taught me mm-hmm. about you know finding some your partner in a service. Yeah. Mm. Because even for me I found mine. Yeah. Okay. Very true. Baba <laughs> Asharini ni pacha. Ndio hiyo mtu wangu sasa kwa za gotesha hapo kwa hiyo story. So ha- hey. so for you when you got born again that is mm. the same day that you met the love of your life. Actually, I didn't know she was the one because mm. I ran away from her. Yes. And we didn't see each other yes. that year. Mm. We saw each other the next time I was coming in Akesha. Now as a as a born again believer. And I was coming to an intercessor's Kesha mm-hmm. and I met her mm-hmm. and we started praying. And uh, something happened very peculiar. Yes. But I didn't tell her mm-hmm. uh, lest she scold me. Yes. <laughs> so as we were praying kuna kuna hizi maombi za after tumeomba unajua anga ile tunapigia prayer item 1 hour. Yes. Alafu after the hour tunakutana tuna tena tunashikana mikono mm-hmm. kuna ule anamalizia hiyo item hiyo prayer item hiyo prayer prayer, inst- uh, prayer instruction or prayer item mm-hmm. so as when kile ilikuwa kaya peculiar inafanyika tulikuwa tunajipata mimi na wewe ndio tumeshikana mikono saidi nimemshika ama amenishika hii saidi nyingine mm-hmm. unacheki wa, wakati tunashikana mikono round yeah. intercessor mm-hmm. so when ninamshika hivi nasikia electricity inanipiga kwa mkono pa na mwajili ya mkono <laughs> na yana anashindwa oh mseni nini hataki kushika mkono na nashika hivi nasikia tena pa yeah. eh and nika nikaanza kujiuliza ndani mm-hmm. eh hey, kweli huyu ni nani mm-hmm. mbona nasikia hizi mbona sisikii na umse mwingine nasikia na huyu lady mm-hmm. nikimshika mkono nasikia it's like a an electric current imepita inanipiga yani ni, ni kama vile ukileiwa hand na pasta unasikia anointing yeah. nilikuwa nasikia hivyo mm. then i just heard the holy spirit in me say mm. that is your wife wow that is your wife and i was like i unani enjoy <laughs> <laughs> i wrestled with that thought for six months mm. and for those six months we were friends yeah. tulikuwa tunapatana kwa events mm. tunaenda kwa so now it now became deliberate yeah. aka niingiza praise and worship mm nikakuwa present worship leader tukaanza kwenda missions pamoja and nini mm-hmm. and later god akaniambia you have to make up your mind mm-hmm. you have to make up your mind whether you want or not so if you don't want mm-hmm. eh wewe ndio utaamua yeah. mimi nishakupatia mm-hmm. heads up nishakuadvise nishakupe counsel mm-hmm. nisha si uliniuliza yeah. uliniuliza huu ni nani na unatakaje mm-hmm. papa si akakuwa papa si yako nikakwambia yeye hey, si ndio yeye <laughs> so my advice mm-hmm. to people who are waiting on God for yeah. someone to marry mm-hmm. don't usijishikilia usikae sana hapo kwa place ya prayer mm-hmm. usi concentrate na prayer for marriage mm-hmm. until lord i pray send me someone oh god apana mm-hmm. concentrate na service to the lord yeah. you serve the lord serve the lord mm-hmm. god at a point ama ataku advice yeah. because of course we have our own will mm-hmm. as to decide who to bible sema uh, he who findeth a wife and in finding there is seeking yes. unajua mm-hmm. na god uh, mu, mu believe hivi mm-hmm. god apatia nangi wives yeah. kwa sababu adam aliambia god aje when will let uh, the wife you give me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has made me to eat the fruit you forbid me yeah. but now bible inasema aje he who finds a wife mm-hmm find it a good thing. Mm-hmm. Leo in finding there is seeking. Yes. Seek and you shall find. Mm-hmm. Na Bible nasema a prudent wife yeah. comes from the Lord. Mm-hmm. Meaning God ataku advise in his congregation of the righteous yeah. where to find or who to find or who to to look at 
or who to be pointed to or who to connect to yeah. as a, a life partner or a spouse. Yeah. So na believe kitu moja, the whole duty of man is to fear the Lord and to obey his commands. Yeah. When you fear the Lord, the fear of the Lord yeah. is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. No good thing shall he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Amen. 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 I think we need to be given a whole night of this. Bana, I feel bad though. Time is not really on our side. Uh, yeah. And uh, we just want to wind up the testimony tonight. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing Amen. your story with us. Glory you know, to from God. From a drug peddler to now a prophet. Amen. A Glory to God. Jesus. Mm. It is only God who can do this. Only God can do this. I know. Maybe someone God. is listening to me right now. Mm. And. Uh, he has not that relationship with God. So probably, mm. I may walk church in a bado, I just walk over. Yeah. Mm. Just, you know very well. I just want you in just a minute to pray with that person and also, kuna watwingi sana. I know people are struggling with many uh, many things and also our nation right now, kuna inflation may happen. Banajo. And which is going to So for just two minutes, I just want you to pray with us mm. tonight, even as we conclude the testimony. Amen. Yes. Um, if you're there and you want to give your life to Christ. It is not even in saying these words that will make you saved. Yes. It is in belief. It is in the belief and in the confession. The Bible says in Romans chapter nine, uh, chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, yes. if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart yes. that God raised him from the dead, yes. you shall be saved. Yes. For it is with the mouth that one confesses unto salvation, yes. and it is with the heart that one believeth unto righteousness. For it is written, he that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall not be put to shame. Yes. So, if you are there and you'd like to give your life to Christ, and you know very well, it is you are being transformed from one kingdom to another. Yes. So, it is not easy. It is not going to be easy that man, this is a sani tanz, vitu tanza kukuwa smooth. Ndiyo vita imeanza mtu yangu. Ukitoka kwa opponent, una create enemy. So, just say this prayer after me. And, and believe in your heart. Yes. And God is going to transform your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I, confess with my mouth I confess with my mouth that you are Lord. That you are Lord. I, believe I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. God raised you from the dead. I, believe I believe that I am saved, that I am saved. And, I and I receive the forgiveness of sin. The grace, the grace that, transforms that transforms me from the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Today, Today I, am born again I am born again by faith, by faith through, the grace of God. through the grace of God. In Jesus' name, In Jesus name I, receive the Holy Ghost I receive the Holy Ghost to guide me from here. To guide me from here. In, Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you've said that prayer, you may receive salvation. Hmm. And maybe let's watch it be a nation yet. Let's just pray yes. that God will do something. Yes. I feel the unction of Elisha. Hmm. Where he said, tomorrow by this time, yes. the flour shall be one shekel, and there shall be one, uh, and, and oil shall be one shekel. Yes. Father, we declare your grace upon our nation, mm. your grace upon our president, mm. upon the new uh, revealed cabinet. Mm. And we believe, oh God, that you are doing and you are working. Your hand is at work in our nation mm. to change our economy. Yes. When they shall say there is a casting down, mm. we shall say by the Holy Ghost, yes. there is a lifting up yes. in the name of Jesus. And so we shall see things change mm. to the glory of God. Mm. We thank you and so we prophesy. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless. Amen. Thank you so much, Pasi, uh, for coming through and for sharing. Amen. I know we had a limited time, mm. uh, but to ta- we'll organize uh, one time you also come and uh, talk more and share more because I believe there is more. Mm. Yeah, but thank you so much for being here and for being a blessing to us. Nashkuru. So Mazi. shortly, just uh, just ten seconds, just tell us where can guys find you e. on social media and also what, where do you minister right now? Yeah, I minister in uh, Christ Unveiled Tabernacle mm. and uh, a ministry of Fountain Gate Church yes. under Apostle James Mbogwa mm. and Dr. Lucy Nganga Mbogwa. Yes. And it's a blessing, Manze, to have them as my parents in the Lord. Yes. Uh, my social media handles are Facebook, Pastor Samukat, mm. Team Samukat, mm. 
uh, there is Samu Cut with Capital Caps. That's my page yes. as, a, as, a, as a music, as a, as a music minister, as an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Christ, the page of Christ and Vir Tabernacle in Facebook. Yes. And uh, we have Samukat, Prophet Samukat, or Christ Unveiled Tabernacle, or Samukat PSSP yes. in all other handles yes. Facebook, Twitter, Inter Instagram, and even TikTok. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Sasa Pasi, thank you so much. Kabisa, man. Thank you so, so much for sharing. Amen. I've seen a, quite a number of the feedback coming through. Actually, sit either for the summer because of time. Yeah. But thank you so much for everyone who's been plugging in on the recent the testimony. We do this again next week from 7 p.m. all the way until 10 p.m. Coming up next right now, 